In this fast-paced and high-tech modern world, far removed from any battlefield, it's too easy to forget the sacrifices made and continuing to be made by so many Canadians, often in the prime of their lives. But those who have served their country proudly and seen the horrors of war firsthand will never, ever forget. Now, Remembrance Day, I've been to three since returning from Afghanistan, and especially being to Afghanistan, it's much more poignant. Um, I don't hide the fact that you know a number of us, myself included, break down. Being part of uh, the unfortunate ramp ceremonies that you have to do, um, it just brings back the, the memories of those friends that have fallen and all the soldiers that have fallen to uh, have paid the ultimate sacrifice. The first time a soldier dons his uniform and parades proudly through town in a Remembrance Day parade, the notion of laying down his life for his country takes on a whole new meaning. We have to do a, a better job of explaining why these ceremonies are important. And the first time he goes to battle in that uniform, the price of freedom becomes crystal clear. We're a small military. It will touch everybody. And uh, so yes, I've had uh, friends who've fallen. And just that has made the day even more um, important to me. For Major Alan Best, a reservist with the 48th Highlanders, it's something he knows all too well. It was difficult because it was very surreal. Um, you know, obviously as young soldiers come home, but it's interesting how it's not just the army that reacts, it's the nation that reacts. Yeah. And all one has to do is look at the Highway of Heroes to understand just how important the memory of these young service people is. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Chris Doucette.